We're gonna see what happens to the battery of my Tesla Model 3 by leaving it outside all night long in the middle of winter without plugging it in. Let's go. So a lot of folks have been asking me about leaving the car out overnight unplugged in the cold. How does it do? So I'm gonna do a little test tonight. It's gonna to be a little bit chillier tonight. It's going down to about minus 17, minus 18 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna park the vehicle out front of my house. And yeah, we're just gonna leave it sit out. I won't, I won't plug it in. I'll show you what the, uh, what the energy is like right now. And then we'll check it out in the morning and we'll come back out and we'll see how cold is the poor little car. I also have to attempt to fit this into this spot. Oh man. Yeah, so I got it parked right in front of our house. You can see it is uh, very, very cold. <laughs> a lot of snow out there. So let's take a look at that battery. So we got 362 kilometers left in it. Quick explanation, this dotted line gives you a clear idea of how cold the battery is. So the more dots in that line from the left, the less regenerative braking you'll have and the colder the battery is. You're gonna see this uh, poor little car get even colder tonight. Put it in park. I got that little uh, red dot right there, which is showing me that sentry mode is enabled. Other than that, I'm gonna just leave it. And we will see you in the morning. So the Tesla sat outside peacefully for just under 16 hours. So it is currently quarter after 9 a.m. and temperature outside is minus 17 degrees Celsius. And we're gonna go see how the car is doing. So I haven't touched the app, I haven't touched anything yet, but you notice that actually the cameras are uh, defrosted. And I think that's sentry mode. By having sentry mode activated, it keeps the cameras clear overnight. So it's obviously using a lot more energy than if you were to turn sentry mode off. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice is we now have 318 kilometers of range, but there's an asterisk on that. And the asterisk is that blue line that you see on the battery there, also shown a snowflake in the display. There's actually a portion of the battery that has been removed from that range temporarily because the battery is so cold you can't use it immediately. As the car warms up, you'll actually get that range back. It will unlock that blue portion. But for right now, we're seeing a loss of 44 kilometers overnight or about 9% of my battery. But I would estimate that that blue portion represents uh, four or 5% uh, that I would actually get back. So the true loss overnight is only about 5%. Now, this isn't quite the full picture. We need to go for a drive. And being a real world test, I'm going to preheat the car for a few minutes too to melt some of that snow and make it nice and comfortable inside. So let's blast the heat. So I sped things up a bit here, but you can see in the app that it was three minutes and it is plus 25 inside the car. It is a quick warm up. I left it going a couple more minutes just to get the uh, glass defrosted. So after a bit of a preheat, it's 9.25 a.m., 9.26, and the battery's got 310. Still got that uh, snowflake on it, so I'm going to do a little bit of driving. The wipers and get rid of the rest of that snow. <laughs> Threading the needle. So I don't know if you can hear that. There's a little bit of a whine in the electric motors. I believe that's because the motors are actually putting a little bit of resistance in to purposely heat the battery. So after driving across town for 16 minutes, I'm able to get some trustworthy estimates from the car's energy graphs, just to know how much range I truly have in this weather. 
So in town, with my current driving habits, projected range, 194 kilometers. So that's a loss of about, you know, roughly 30% loss of range right now. At minus 15, doing in-town driving. So this is exactly why many folks will actually switch the battery display indicator from being kilometers or miles into percentage. And then for short trips, don't even worry about it. And for longer trips, you can use the trip indicator to know how much percentage it's going to take based on your rolling energy consumption to get to your destination. So all of this really to say the Tesla takes good care of its battery, even in the cold winter, so don't stress about that. There is energy loss, leaving it unplugged in the deep cold for long periods of time, but it's relatively small. It's smaller than most people think. And finally, we've been seeing range loss in the winter of up to about 40%. So for some hard data on that, here's a graph that comes from the Stats app that shows our car's average efficiency over the kilometers driven. And you can clearly see how the car does in uh, Canadian summer here, where it gets, you know, plus 15, plus 20, plus 25, versus winter over the last year where it gets minus 15, minus 20. And here's a graph showing our car's lifetime efficiency versus the outside temperature. And keep in mind, this graph is overlaying literally every trip that's been recorded by the app. And so you're gonna see some outliers here, which is, uh, you know, really terrible efficiency that comes from maybe getting in the car, warming it up, driving a block to buy some oat milk, and then returning home. But I think the trend line gives you a really good sense of uh, overall uh, how it works out. One last thing, this poor car definitely needs a car wash. <laughs>